Welcome to Garage Shop Minnesota. If you watched my last video, I cleaned up a Wilton baby bowl advice. So for this video, I've had this three and a half inch reed under my workbench for several months. And reed vices are my favorite type of vice. They're very heavy duty. They're machined very well. This one's actually in pretty good condition. It's not beat up on top or the back or on the slide. And the only issue that I've noticed so far with this vise is that part of the base is cracked off. But fortunately, I still have the piece here. Now this is going to a family member who I don't think is gonna beat on this thing at all. So I could probably JB weld this into place and it would probably be just fine. But I think I wanna try uh, welding it just to see how that holds up. So uh, let's get to disassembly and see what we have here. All right, so now I'm gonna punch that out from the bottom there. It's pretty rusted, so we'll see if this comes out. Um, I always try to get things out first before I spray them with any uh, WD-40 or anything like that, so let's see what happens here. It's moving. There it goes. Okay, so now I need to get this set screw out of here because there's a collar in here that that set screw is holding. And that collar holds the spindle so that the dynamic jaw can move in and out. So we need to get that set screw out so we can remove that collar. And this is the split collar. Now this might look broken, but it's not. The first time I took a read apart, I, I saw this and I thought this piece was broken and it took me a minute to figure it out. But this is designed to be that way because it captures the spindle and then that's what lets the dynamic jaw moving out like I said before. So if you take a read apart and you come across this, this is how it's supposed to be. You can just see how rusty everything is here. Inside of there. Definitely going to soak this in some evaporust. Okay, I've got everything disassembled. Everything looks really good. Um, the only issue I found is what I showed before was this cracked off piece here. Um, there is quite a bit of rust on these parts. But nothing that a wire wheel and uh, some evaporos can't take care of. Uh, there is some grease on the vise, so I'm going to let that soak overnight in a five gallon pail of degreaser. So I'm going to get that in there right now so we can start to soak. I just took this out of the degreaser and rinsed it off with water and got most of that paint off. Um, the degreaser and then with a wire brush and water, the, the paint just comes right off. It's, uh, that's what I always do to clean these up and uh, the vise is looking really good. These jaws look really, really nice. And again, just very little evidence that this was uh, used. Some casting marks here, but usually these vices are beat up on top and this doesn't have that at all. And for the dynamic jaw, same thing. The jaws look really nice. And again, just very little evidence of use, so. A lot of rust on here, so I'm going to let this soak overnight in evaporust. I'm going to put that into the uh, five gallon pail right now. All right, so I want to go ahead and start to weld this. Uh, 
being that this is cast iron, the weld does have a tendency to want to crack. So to try to prevent that, uh, first what I'm going to do is I'm going to widen out this gap a little bit so that I can get a little bit more weld in there. Then I'll preheat it, I'll weld, and then I'll post heat it. And then I'll let it cool off slowly in sand, uh, most likely let it cool off overnight. All right, so I just took the vise out of the sand and it looks like it was a success. Um, I don't see any cracks on the weld at all. Uh, looks like I did have my wire speed too high, kind of ugly welds, but um, the main thing is it didn't crack, so I'm happy with that. And I'm gonna grind that down and blend that in. I ground down the weld and blended everything in and it looks really good. Um, off camera though, I did fill this in with JB Weld and added some filler here and up here because of bad casting marks. The reason I did that is on the inner part of this mounting hole, on this side and on this side, I had to weld that. And when I went to grind that down and blend that in, on this side I was making the hole just too uneven. So I just decided to put JB Weld in there I'll take a 5 8 inch drill bit and I'll just drill a new clean hole. Right, so I got everything taped off, and if you watched my last video, you heard me say I absolutely hate taping off parts, and that's very true for this video as well, but it's over. And I just gave everything a quick wipe down with mineral spirits, and now it's time to paint.
Okay, the vise is all done and it came out really nice. On camera, the color is a little bit more of a darker red. Um, in person, it's more of a cranberry and I really like this color. I thought about highlighting the lettering in silver, but just because I like the color of the paint so much, I just decided to leave that alone because I didn't want to take away from the color. So, And then as you saw, it opens and closes very smoothly and very pleased with this vise and how this came out. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please like and subscribe and please come back for the next project.